Hello everyone, my name's James and I'm a volunteer at Grimm & Co and today I have the pleasure of reading a story written by some delightfully creative Year 7 students from Australia Academy in Sheffield called Candy Drama. Our story is about Blogoduff, a hot pink troll that breathes fire. Blogoduff wears 720s in a black wooden box that can bend and fold. The box can blend into the night and has Grimm & Co written on the side she transports upside down on her two fingers, and she can also teleport. Blogoduff loves her favourite teddy bear, Emily B, and she loves catching spirits in her big box. It is also about Flimp the Sprite. Flimp is medium-sized. He has a yellow beard and a pink moustache that curls all the way down to his feet. His face is shaped like a triangle, and he has one eye at the point at the top. He has another eye at the back of his triangle head. When he wants to do a spell on someone, his eyes turn emerald green. Flimp's favourite spell is the Hummer Ha. It makes people do something non-stop. Flimp wears a black leotard with a skull and crossbones on it. Flimp hates love. It makes him really angry. The story takes place in a magical forest. The trees are made of sweets. If you do a 360 degree turn really fast, you turn into sweets. If it's a slow turn, then you don't. There's a chocolate milk river and you can see a big square portal that leads to our world. The chocolate milk river is just an illusion and behind it is a village filled with pixies. Half of the forest is colourful and rainbow-like. The other half is really dark. The forest is in a magical realm that is ruled by two sprites currently in a war. The dark side is growing really slowly and they need to stop it. In the deep dark forest, there was a magical realm called the Candy Kingdom. Living there was a troll called Blogoduff, who was a good troll. She helped everyone around her on the rainbow side of the forest. However, all was not well in this magical realm of goodness. There was also a darker side, which was home to the most evil sprite of them all, Flimp. He wanted to take over the bright side. He wanted to be king, to control everything, make his own rules and tell everyone what to do. He'd been bullied in the past and wanted to prove everyone wrong. The first half of his plan had already been completed. He had taken down the good king and queen and used his magic to transform into a pixie. And now there was part three, to go behind the chocolate river and use his spell to hypnotise the whole pixie village, the final piece of his master plan. Blogoduff knew of the evil threat, even if the pixies had no idea of the dark side of the realm, as she was a troll. She was trying to make a potion to protect the good side and would cast it over the village in her pink and white helicopter made of cotton candy. But she needed one more thing. She needed a part of Flimp's beard to make sure the potion knew who to let into the village. What am I going to do? cried Blogoduff in despair. Flimp had already marched to the village and taken over using the Hummer Ha spell. In the distance, she could see he was marching over with his army. What happens next is up to you. Please write your ending to this story. You can write them, you can record them, film them, whichever's more convenient, and send them in because we cannot wait to read them. Thank you.